I think the questions the world should be asking. I think it's a huge question. What is a border? What happens after war? Is there a solution to the world's refugee crisis? Should we all speak the same language? What is the place of religion in the modern world? The first question that really struck me was, why do we need equality? I see different stories shouting at me. Um, some of them really striking, some of them harrowing, some of them very beautiful. Common communication is incredibly beneficial, but I guess you've got to look at the context that's born out of. Do people want to go back to some sort of an abstract idea of religion and read and understand things word by word as it is written, or they want to interpret it differently and use it differently in their lives? What happens after war? Societies and the populace tend to try to forget and I think the intellectuals and artists do their best to remind society. I think the people that tell the truth are those who are oppressed, who are marginalised. Whose passports have how much value and how far you can travel with, how much money you have, how much education you have. Physical borders that you can see and borders that are just imagined. But all those refugee camps that have millions and millions of people living in them and nowhere to go. We need to start looking at real viable solutions. So I was kind of uniquely placed to answer a lot of different questions and questions I don't think many other institutions could answer. It's such a unique position to be able to ask and meet all these people with all these different perspectives. It really does get you to think beyond your own worldview. I've never had a conversation like the ones I've had at SOAS.